So a lot of my fans say, Josh, I know your last name is Pray. I know you believe in God. Have you ever been to church with your white friends? <sighs> Went to a white church in Naples, Florida last Sunday. <sighs> Five reasons I'm going back to a church with my white friends. Number one, I've never been hugged so many times at church. Now, growing up in a black church, the people that touch you the most are the urchins. They shake your hand when you walk in. They see you to your sheet. They tap you on the back of your shoulder. They sit you down. You listen to the pastor, hold his ear, and preach. When you go to a white church, it starts when you park your car. When you park your car, who's there helping you get out your car? They hug you. Welcome to church, brother. I ain't your brother, but we brothers today. When you get to the door, the usher holding the door, welcome to church. Praise God. Nice to see you. You hug them. When you get to like your seat, the people that ain't even a part of the church, they just here to hear the word with you. Hug you. Love you. I felt so much love. I got so many hugs. Any sin that I had, it didn't make it outside my car. <sighs> Because the spirit of the Lord was already in my body, bro. If you need a hug on any level, go to a white church. They got enough hugs for you and any other weird person you bring with you. Number two, nobody ad-libs church songs like white people. Now, there's this gospel singer named Ty Tribet. Ty Tribet got this song called Son of Man. Son of Man. Song is dope. If you like church music, you're into gospel music, go iTunes, Ty Tribet right now. Instagram him and tell him I made them numbers go up. But in the song, Ty Trebet, he ab-libs it. Now, I was in this Caucasian church, and they started playing Ty Trebet, a black man. I got excited. Son of man. Then all of a sudden, the ad-libs started coming in, and I was, like, uplifted, but I was confused. Son of man. Son of man. The righteous. Now, ain't he righteous? Man of the earth. Sinner, you was a sinner. Slain. We live to get up out the seat right now. Um, can we change the song, please? When it comes to worshiping the Lord through music, white people, they will ad lib and they will tell you what to do. It ain't no sitting down. It ain't no kind of saying you gonna sing this song. And whatever he's saying that ad lib, get up out your seat and worship him. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Number three. White people's kids will keep you entertained the entire time. Now, anybody that grew up in a black church, y'all already know. When your mama gave you that look, we in a coffin in church. We, we vampires in a coffin. We better not move. But the little white kids, they going to play pick -a with you the entire service. And they going to play pick -a with you right at the right time. The little white baby just going to be like... The little white kids play pick -a with you so calmly that it calms your nerves and it's so inviting. Nobody else, parents looking around, giving them the grip of death, the, the, the Star Trek grip of death on their shoulder or nothing. The little white baby, they're going to play with you all day. Just do the little white baby pick a boo. Pick -a boo Number four, when you're a new visitor, the way they cheer for you and clap for you is like you at like a, a intervention AAA meeting. Makes you just feel so good. So right before the service starts, you know the pastor in every church, every congregation, whatever faith you is, they say, stand up if you a visitor. So I stood up like, um, my name is Josh Frey. I ain't never been here, but I'm just comfortable. People wanted me to come here to experience this, and I love the Lord, so um, I'm just happy to be here. The way they cheered for me. <laughs> I'm going to sit back down, y'all. I'm going to sit back down, y'all. White people like me new people. They like cheering for people. They like celebrating new things. I promise you, go get a new haircut. Soon, hey, nice haircut. Josh, hey, did you see Josh's haircut? His barber's awesome. Josh, that's a haircut. There he is. And number five, white pastors got the strongest hands ever made, and they're going to give you that grip of you will be back or I'll be to your house. Handshake. Church was so good. Service was so great. Everybody was so inviting. I played pick -a with the little white baby. They cheered for me for absolutely nothing. At the end of the service, I was like, I'm probably not going to come back here. I'm going to go back to my mama church. My mama ministered. Then the pastor like shook my hand. He was like, Joshua, you know what It's nice to meet you. Follow your comedy. Hope to see you next Sunday. Nah, pastor. I ain't going to come back next Sunday. Nah, Joshua. I hope to see you next Sunday. Pastor, you heard me, pastor. I don't know if Jesus, like, we went to heaven and got this handshake from him personally, but pastor... 
pastor. Pick a boo, pastor, you heard me? Pick a boo, pastor. All in all, had a great time. Choir can sing. Y'all can add a little better than Young Jeezy and any other R&B artists that I know. I can't wait to get back. I just got to go to the doctor and check out my hand because I'm pretty sure I got like church arthritis. And um, if this thing ain't going to get fixed right, I ain't got insurance. We're going to need another collection to pay for Josh handshake.